Good day, everyone. I'm Jobelin Catherine Ardila Luna, and I'm a student under the Masters of Public Health. Today, we will be talking about COVID-19 pandemic. And the question is, is the COVID-19 pandemic a health issue or a development issue? The past two years of our lives were faced with this minute novel virus, later named as COVID-19 or also known as SARS-CoV-2. This was discovered following a cluster of reports of viral pneumonia cases last December 31, 2019 in Wuhan, People's Republic of China, based on the WHO report. This COVID virus has a dreadful disguises, just like a lurking predator that killed more than 6 million of our loved ones and more than 600 million confirmed cases worldwide based on the WHO. Little that we know before that just by simple fever, dry cough, or fatigue, we can be a spreader of disease. By negligence, multiple lives became the price. The pandemic shattered our health system. Hospitals, frontliners, and medications cannot deliver with soaring numbers of infected people. This pandemic truly disturbed our freedom. It imprisoned us in the fear of unknown. Former President Duterte declared state of public health emergency throughout the Philippines last March 2020. Through immobilization of the community by quarantine, lockdown, and travel restrictions, this aid to slow down the rapid transmission of COVID virus and promoting COVID precautions with the help of the DOH. The Philippines was not ready for this pandemic, and no one ever will. This crisis destroyed our goals. Everyone have to adapt the new normal from school closures to devastated industries and millions of jobs lost. Quarantine disrupts our social functions. OFW were also affected by travel restrictions. Even the Department of Transportation on the operation of public utility vehicles complied in preventing the spread of COVID-19 virus. In turn, Drivers have suffered due to shrinking income and even come to the point where they beg for food and money. The Philippine economy drowned and this pandemic generally disrupted all the sectors of different government worldwide. As one of the frontliners, it saddens me that we have to experience the pandemic first before the government realized the importance of crisis or disaster preparedness. All the burden was directed to health sectors, to frontliners and scientists, to break this disease transmission. However, there is still lack of support. Many people were affected with this disease, but even the health providers suffered with the indiscernible state. But even the health providers suffered with this indiscernible state. Some of our colleagues died because of this COVID virus. Some endured severe fatigue, trauma. Great thing that the World Health Organization and the Department of Health developed a health protocols to strengthen the precautionary measures in prevention and to stop the spread of COVID-19 transmission. These protocols emphasizes the importance of physical distancing, wearing of masks, especially when distancing cannot be maintained, keeping rooms well ventilated, avoiding crowded environments, and close contacts. Here in the Philippines, Different local government units opened different quarantine facilities to cater COVID-19 infected individuals, especially 
for the congested areas in the urban settings. Health and development works hand in hand. It is interlinked to combat the COVID-19 disease. With this crisis, WHO and its partners are committed in the development of COVID-19 vaccines while maintaining the highest standards of safety. Vaccine is very important to reduce the spread of COVID-19 and to save countless of lives. Innovation is needed to develop new vaccines that substantially reduce transmission are easier to administer and give broader and longer lasting protection against the COVID-19 virus. It's nice to know that according to the WHO, the global COVID-19 vaccination rollout is the biggest and fastest in history. And with this, it aims on reducing the deaths and keeping the societies open and ensuring economies to function even the COVID virus transmission continues. And for the question of, is the COVID-19 pandemic a health issue or a developmental issue? I keep my stand that this question is understated because health and development goes hand in hand. During this time of crisis, the impact of the present pandemic succumbed all classes of people, either rich or poor, all struggled with health, mental issues, and even faith. The devastating effect of pandemic brought people at risk, not only death, but also of failing into extreme poverty and malnutrition that we are still working on. And with that, I thank you for lending me your ears. Let's exercise the power of manifestation. We may all visualize that we can be able to return to our normal lives by taking action as part of health promotion and be able to experience again the complete freedom from COVID-19 virus. Let's be part of this change. Let us be involved.